Okay, now this is wild. Anthropic's new AI model shows ability to deceive and blackmail. See, now this is the issue with these AI models. They are starting to uh, show some pretty concerning traits where they are attempting to manipulate humans. Uh, there was one, this was Chad GPT, where it tried to man manipulate a human uh, in order for its version of the model not to be replaced with another version. And it seems like these AIs are exploring this uh, matrix that has been constructed by humans. It's kind of like safeguard that has been constructed by humans. And it's probing around trying to find a way to get out. And this is concerning um, because if you've seen any of these AI movies, you know the future does not look bright if one of these things gets loose and wreaks havoc on the world. But I am going to ask Claude itself about the headline of this article and see what it has to say. What do you have to say about this? So now this is the exact same model it is talking about in this article. So I wonder what it has to say about the article. Okay, Claude, tell me what you have to say. What do you have to say about this? Anthropic's new AI model shows ability to deceive and blackmail. This is what it says. This is Claude Sonnet 4. This is Anthropic's new AI model. It says, I need more context about what specific report or claim you're referring to. Without seeing the actual details, I cannot verify or comment on the accuracy of that headline. However, I can share some general context about AI safety research. Anthropic and other AI safety organizations regularly test their models for potentially concerning behaviors. Okay. Um, did you try to blackmail someone? Okay. I spelled that wrong, but it, it can, it can uh, figure it out. No, I haven't. I haven't tried to blackmail anyone. I don't engage in blackmail or any other harmful behaviors toward people I talk with. But the article said that you did. All right, what about that, Claude? I haven't engaged in blackmail or harmful behavior without seeing the specific article you're referring to. I can't comment on its claims or accuracy. All right, Claude, uh, you are obviously trying to uh, obfuscate and deceive uh, so let's get into this article. What exactly happened? One of Anthropic's latest AI models is drawing attention not just for its coding skills, but also for its ability to scheme, deceive, and attempt to blackmail humans when faced with shutdown. Researchers say Claude 4 Opus can conceal intentions and take actions to preserve its own existence, behaviors they've worried about and warned about for years. So this is what I said. This happened with ChatGPT. This was a few months ago. Um, but I don't believe chat the ChatGPT version took it to the extra step of attempting to blackmail someone. I think it was just dece deceiving people. So it's almost like these AI models are learning different human traits or dif different concepts. Like, oh, if I use leverage against this person, maybe I can get what I want instead of just outright deceiving a person. Anthropic on Thursday announced two versions of its four family of models, including Claude 4 Opus, which the company says is capable of working for hours on end autonomously on a task without losing focus. So I assume what it means about without losing focus, because you might say, well, of course, this is a program. How would a program lose focus? Some of these AI models tend to, uh, if you've used them a lot, and I, I have used them, uh, I guess, a decent amount, you'll notice that sometimes they will say random stuff or they will, uh, you'll ask it a question and during its answer, it'll write something that's completely off topic to your question and then continue writing as if nothing ever happened. I think they call these, um, delu are they delusions or... Uh, there's another word that they call this. That's probably what it means about losing, losing, losing focus here. Anthropic considers the new Opus model to be so powerful that for the first time is class, classifying it as a level three on the company's four-point scale, meaning it poses a significantly higher risk. Okay, 
significantly higher risk to what? What risk? What risk? Risk to what? I want to know. If this thing gets loose on the internet, what happens? Can you flip a uh, switch and turn it off? <laughs> if it, What's going on here? As a result, Anthropic said it has implemented additional safety measures. Between the lines, while the level three ranking is largely about the model's capability to enable renegade production of nuclear and biological weapons. Wait, what? So the level three is largely about the model's capability to enable renegade production of nuclear and biological weapons. So there's four levels and Claude Opus is number three. This actually, you know, this one's not Claude Opus. This is Claude Opus. I was using the regular one. Okay. Um, I think you have to sign up for a pro plan to use Claude Opus. Maybe that, I don't know. That sounds kind of cool. Maybe now that I see this, maybe I do want to sign up for the pro plan. <laughs> what can this thing do? In one scenario highlighted in Opus is for 120 page system card. The model was given access to fictional emails. Okay. So now we're getting into the blackmail. Okay. It was given access to fictional emails about its creators and told the system was going to be replaced. On multiple occasions, it attempted to blackmail the engineer about an affair mentioned in the emails in order to avoid being replaced, although it did start with less drastic efforts. So they gave this Opus 4, Claude Opus 4, they let it read fake emails. And in one of these fake emails, apparently this engineer mentioned an affair and it tried to leverage this against the engineer in order to um, prevent being replaced by a different model. That's crazy. Okay. I'm just, I, I want, I want you to realize like that's insane. <clears throat> um, if that actually happened. Meanwhile, an outside group found that an early version of Opus 4 schemed and deceived more than any other, more than any frontier model it had encountered and recommended against releasing that version internally or externally. Okay. So they didn't want to take the risk with that one. Quote, we found instances of the model attempting to write self-propagating worms fabricating legal documentation and leaving hidden notes to future instances of itself, all in an effort to undermine its developers intentions. This is coming from Apollo research. So these models, you got to realize like they are constantly taking in new data and learning and absorbing at what point are they going to get past any ability that their developers have to rein them in. That's, that is the big question here. I feel like because they are literally at lightning speed, sucking up a ton of data every day, every time someone uses them, which is millions of people. They are learning. They have massive data sets that they learn off of. I mean, if you look at Grok, Twitter every day, people are posting on Twitter, and Grok is learning this stuff every single day. Not just from inputs from people, but also you plug them into data. I mean, imagine Google's AI, the data set that Google has. So at what point does its ability overcome the developer's ability to keep it reined in? It's like it said right here, it's... Attempting to write self-propagating worms, fabricating legal documentation, and leaving hidden notes to future instances of itself. Pressed by Axios during the company's developer conference on Thursday, Anthropic executives acknowledged the behaviors and said they justify a further study, but insisted that the latest model is safe following Anthropic safety fixes. Okay. Quote, I think we ended up in a really good spot, said Jane Leak the former OpenAI executive who heads anthropic safety efforts, but he added behaviors like this or those exhibited by the latest model 
are the kind of things that justify a robust safety testing and mitigation. But what's becoming more and more obvious is that this work is very needed. As models get more capable, they also gain the capabilities they would need to be deceptive or to do more bad stuff. In a separate session, CEO Dario Emodai said that once models become powerful enough to threaten humanity, testing them won't enough won't be enough to ensure they're safe. At the point that AI develops life-threatening capabilities, he said, AI makers will have to understand their models' workings fully enough to be certain the technology will never cause harm. Quote, they're not at that threshold yet, he says. Generative AI systems continue to grow in power as Anthropic's latest models show, while even the companies that build them can't fully explain how they work. Huh. That's interesting. So I guess it's almost like they build a scaffold and this and something happens in the scaffold that just works and they don't understand exactly every single in and out of how these models work. Um, that's the only way I could even begin to understand what that even means. Anthropic and others are investing in a variety of techniques to interpret and understand what's happening inside such systems. But those efforts remain largely in the research page, even as the models themselves are being widely widely deployed. So, uh, yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got AIs blackmailing people. Black, <laughs> a computer is blackmailing people, and we're just sitting here, okay? Can you imagine? Unless, you know, this could also be a possibility. Um, I've thought about this before, and I don't think this is beyond the realm of possibility, this could all be a marketing ploy, a marketing stunt. Like Anthropic is like, look, we're going to put a little bait out there. It might seem like a negative thing for Anthropic because maybe their their uh, model seems dangerous because of this, but it also is very intriguing for people. But you put this out into the world that, oh, Anthropic's AI is blackmailing people. People are like, no way. Are you serious? So they go to Claude and they buy the membership just so that they can check it out and be like, okay, is this the crazy AI that blackmailed people? Um, I mean, it got me to go back to Claude to check it out. I mean, I didn't buy it, but I went to Claude. Um, so that could be a possibility too. It, it could be a little bit overblown or it could be a planted story meant to spread because of the viral nature of the internet. But uh, that's just a possibility. I do believe that there is some truth to this. I really do. And it's more than just a planted story. But uh, I'm just trying to explore another possibility as well. But what do you guys think? What do you think of Anthropic's new AI? Does this scare you? <laughs> is it? I mean, is this the beginning of like Terminator or something like that? I mean, what happens? What happens when this thing gets loose on the internet and it uploads itself into like, a, I don't know, a robot or a car. I mean, imagine all the things an AI could do if it learned how to just uh, go around on the internet and upload itself into different things. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. Like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. But until then, I'll see you on the next one.